let's play a little game. Try to close your eyes and think of Iceland. What do you see? Is it you driving on the endless empty roads? Do you see yourself sitting by a waterfall and listening sounds of the nature? But what if I told you that the reality of visiting Iceland can be in fact a little bit different? For me personally, this is not Iceland that I know. When I live in the mountains of the northern part of the island, we don't experience crowds like that. Sure, summers are busy here too and sometimes small towns can get flooded by a large number of tourists coming here with the cruise ships. But honestly, it is still relatively quiet here compared to what you can experience down south. And don't get me wrong, you will still find a lot of people here at the main attractions like waterfalls, but numbers usually start decreasing quickly after the summer. And so you can imagine how surprised I was to find myself in a crowd of people walking down to a waterfall last time I drove to the south of the island. To be fair, this is Gulfos, which is one of the most visited places in Iceland. But I mean still, it was end of September and the place was completely packed. And that made me think, is this really kind of experience that so many people will have if they only decide to stay close to Reykjavik or simply just visit the most famous spots around the ring road? According to estimates, in this year 2023, there is supposed to be over 2 million tourists who visited the island. And from the numbers recorded in the year 2022, we can clearly see that most of the people visit the south coast of the island. And as you can also see here on the map, other regions are visited much less frequently. And what that really tells me is that not that many people actually get to experience the true wild Iceland. And I mean, you have this amazing, beautiful, pristine nature wherever you look, but still if you are traveling from one crowded spot to another, it just kind of takes away from the whole experience. And those numbers aren't surprising though, given the close proximity to the international airport and the fact that the south coast of the island is packed with some of the most amazing places that you can see just by walking few steps from the car. And that's of course very convenient for most of the visitors, as it is easy to plan and if you are traveling to Iceland for the first time, to regardless how many people there are, some of them are still a must visit. But what if you want to escape the crowds, what should you do then? And here is a couple of things that you can do. And the first and the most obvious one would be to go and visit other regions too. Iceland is not that small and each of the regions has its unique characteristics amazing places to see and thrilling adventures you can do. You can visit West Iceland and take a drive around stunning Snafelsnes Peninsula. Take a couple of days to explore remote Westfjords. Go whale watching or hiking to the mountains of North Iceland. Enjoy green and quiet East Fjords or rent a four-wheel drive vehicle and go explore Icelandic highlands. Wherever you decide to go, I think the most important thing is to take things slow. I mean seriously, don't try to fill your day so much that you will be stressed as soon as you start getting behind your schedule, because I promise you, you will. There are always unexpected stops and Icelandic weather is a bitch, so that can easily change your plans too. And so maybe, if you only have couple of days, don't try to go around the whole island, but pick one or two of the regions instead and try to explore those more. With more time on your hands and calmer mind, you will be able to enjoy your trip more than someone rushing to see every touristy spot marked on the map. As a person living here, I rarely go to these famous spots anymore, unless I have some filming to do. I intentionally try to only visit as little touristy places as possible, because that's where you can feel the real energy of the island. It's just you and the nature. And in my opinion, a random unnamed small waterfall that you just stumble across while hiking can become more powerful and more memorable experience than some of the biggest waterfalls here on the island. There is just something very special about being all alone in this landscape and one really has to experience it to fully understand. But so what is the takeaway from all this? And I mean, to be completely honest, Iceland can be busy as hell and especially in the summer months. But also, as soon as you get a little bit of the beaten path than your average Joe would ever go, you still have pretty good chance of experiencing this beautiful wild side of Iceland.
Just please do me a favor and don't let internet tell you that Iceland is old news. If you are thinking of visiting, you should definitely come. You will have a great time. Adie, what are you waiting for? Go boot the ticket.